Hi guys, uh, good day. This is uh, Telan Nation once more. Uh, today I would like to share with you what I've done to uh, get rid of the could not open uh, selected VM debug port uh, 8700 when opening Eclipse. Uh, so I will first reproduce the error. So let's open our Eclipse. So when we get inside Eclipse, uh, this is the error message that I get, as you can see there. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to click OK and try to close Eclipse again. Uh, the problem is uh, on the host file and uh, uh, we have to make sure that uh, the host, uh, the local host is pointing to uh, the 127.0.0.1. So uh, what we should do, we should go to the uh, host, uh, to the window host file. On Windows 7, I think uh, the best way to do that, uh, to edit that file or do some changes in that file is to go to the start program and then you look for Notepad. And then you right click on it and run as an administrator to be able to change that file. So we're going to click on yes to accept this and then we have to go to to navigate to that folder. So, so mine, I think it's already there, but I, I just need to uh, help you if you uh, don't know exactly where the file is. It's on the local disk C. In the local disk C, you have to go to the Windows folder. In the Windows folder, you have to look for System32 folder. And in the System32 folder, you have to look for the folder called Drivers. Uh, after getting to the fold dri folder drivers, you have to look for the folder called etc. Then inside the etc, there are files, but they are not text files because I'm using uh, Notepad. So I will change the section to all files. Then we need to select the host uh, file. So it's called host. We click open. And in that file, we have to make sure that we have... Uh, this line, um, excuse, excuse me, uh, 127.0.0.1, and then we have we should have local host there. Then we just have to save the file. Done. So when we try to reopen Eclipse. Okay. As you can see, it's loading. Uh, as you can, you can see now, uh, the error has uh, disappeared. So this is the way I try to solve this issue. I've uh, did I did some research on the on online, and this is where I came across, and it it worked for me. So. Um, in case this doesn't work, there's another there's another way, but uh, I, I think most of most of the time this should help you, because uh, I believe uh, if that doesn't help, you can go to uh, Windows, then you go to uh, Preferences, then uh, you go to Android, you you extend, and then you have the DDMS, then you can uh, try to change the space local debug port to uh, let's say. Uh, 8601 you re just remove the zero and you put it to one and then you uh, tick this uh, use uh, a, a video host uh, to uh, as it has the value of 127.0.0.1 uh, in case uh, what the, the, the first uh, step didn't work so I'm going to say goodbye here it was Dela Nation again I will see you guys on the next video take care bye